In Creo Parametric 10.0, you now get parameters in feature patterns to indicate the number of instances in that pattern. Let's take a look at how this works. Here I have a part model. I'm going to put a bunch of lightning holes in this part. Let me select a hole and then I will use the pattern command from the mini toolbar from the right mouse button. I can change the pattern type to fill and I will select a sketch for my boundary. Let's decrease the spacing so that we get more instances and I'm happy with that. So I will hit the check mark and the pattern is created. If I right click on that pattern feature in the model tree, I can go to parameters and here is the new parameter that's generated automatically. PTC actual PAT members and the current value is 165. It will be the number of instances in your pattern, not including any excluded members. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to edit definition of that pattern and I decide, hey, you know, I don't like three of these instances. So I will click on the preview dots in order to get rid of them. And now since the pattern is still selected, I will right click and go to parameters and the number of instances decreased from 165 to 162. And you can use this feature level parameter in relations and you can also use it in your different 3D annotations. And for using it in 3D annotation, you want to take note of the feature ID. I see that this is 52477. I'm going to want to remember that 52477. So now let's create a note using the parameter. I'll go to the annotate tab. Let's create a flat to screen note. And then I'll click on the note command and let's locate it about here. And then I will put in for the text total lightning holes. And then since I want to use a parameter, it'll be the ampersand and then it'll be the name of that parameter that is generated in your patterns, PTC actual pat members. And then since this is a feature parameter, I'm going to want to put a colon and then FID underscore and either the name of the feature or that feature ID number, which was 52477, I think. Let me click on the background of the screen and then deselect the note. And there you can see, yep, total holes 162. So you get that parameter PTC actual PAT members in three different situations. The first situation is any pattern that you create. And by the way, if you retrieve any legacy models upon retrieval and regeneration, those feature parameters will be created in the pattern. So besides any different kinds of patterns that you create, you also get it when you use a pattern recognition feature as part of flexible modeling. So here I have a part model and I want to create a pattern recognition feature. So let's go to flexible modeling and then I will select a seed surface and then we have the pattern recognition tool. I will click on it. It's doing some thinking and it's figuring out that this is really a part of an eight instance pattern. I can see eight members in here. Let's hit the check mark for that one. And now when I right click on the pattern recognition feature and then go to parameters, hey, there we have that parameter PTC actual PAT members. And by the way, these parameters are not generated for patterns of groups. So if you want to get a parameter for the number of instances of a pattern of groups, you can use a pattern recognition feature. Okay, so that's good. Let's click OK out of there. Okay, now let's take a look at a third situation in which you will get that PTC actual PAT members parameter. Here I have a part model open. There is a sketch on the top surface. I'm going to use that sketch to create a multi-hole hole. Let me close this little properties dialog box. And in Creo 8.0, you had the ability to create 
multi-hole features. I will use the sketched option and then select that hexagon as my sketch. Let me change the depth option to to next. I'm going to make the diameter of the holes a little bit smaller. That's good. Let me hit the middle mouse button or the check mark. And so there I have my hole feature. If I go to the hole feature, I can go to the parameters command. And here we have the PTC actual pattern members. By the way, as I showed in my first Creo 10.0 video, let's edit the definition of the feature. And then I can go to the properties tab and then add parameters and add parameters for those different values. I'll hit the check mark. And that way, if I go back to the parameters for the whole feature, you'll see that in addition to the number of instances, which is six in this case, we also have the hole type and the drill diameter. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this model in a moment. Let me go to a different model for showing you the next thing. Here I have a part model. Let me turn on my axis visibility. And so I've got a feature that I wanna pattern. I will select it and then go to the pattern command. And let me use the right mouse button to change to an axis pattern. And I will select the pattern that I just created. Let's change to angular extent. And I want a total of six of those located around the axis. So I will hit the check mark. And so there we have our pattern created. Let me click on this and go to its parameters. And like before, it's got the parameter PTC actual pat members. Let's click OK out of there. Now I'm going to take this pattern and I'm going to pattern it. So I will select the pattern and then go to the pattern command from the mini toolbar. Let me change to a direction pattern. And I'll choose, let's say, this edge as the first reference. And I'm going to change this distance to 200. Let me change the number of instances in that direction to 4. And then for the second direction, I will pick this edge in the model. Let me change the spacing to negative 200. And that looks good. So I will hit the check mark. So now that I have a pattern of a pattern, let me expand it for you. If I go to this pattern's parameters, in this particular situation, I have the actual pattern members. Here it has seven. Look, look, looks like I turned off a preview dot by mistake. And here are the total pa pattern members. And by the way, these are read only parameters. Let me edit definition of the pattern in order to get this one back. There we go. Now I will go to the parameters. And in this case, we have eight for the actual pattern members. But then there's this other parameter that's generated PTC total pat members. So again, there's a second parameter that you can get depending on the situation. And so if you get, if you create a pattern of a pattern, you will get the PTC total pattern members. All right, let's go back to the multi-hole model. I'm going to select the multi-hole model or the multi-hole feature and then pattern it. And then from the right mouse button, I will choose to create an axis pattern. Let's create an axis pattern here. I'm happy with the values that are given to me. So I will hit the check mark. And so you can see the pattern. Let me turn off my axis display. If I go to this pattern of the multi-hole and then right click and go to parameters, well, you can see that we get the PTC actual pattern members, which is four, but the PTC total pattern members is 24. And let's pattern this pattern. So I will select it. Let's go to the pattern command and I will use the right mouse button to change to a direction pattern. Let me use the same values as before. Let me choose that and make the increment 200. Let's change the number of members to four. And then for the second direction, I'll pick this edge and let's change that spacing to minus 200 and then hit the check mark. 
And once again, we can go to the pattern, right mouse click and go to parameters. And so in this case, the PTC actual pattern members is eight, but the total pattern members is 192. And of course, if I expand this, I could also do the same thing for this level, go to its parameters and its values would be different than for the pattern of the pattern. So there you have it, the different parameters that you get automatically for patterns in different situations.